Hello guys, welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Action Nerve and today we're gonna build a food truck because it's cool and it's cool looking and it's awesome. It's three things at once. It's crazy, it's a multitasker. Anyway, here is what the food truck will look like. We got some cool some cool banners. That's what we're using today. We're in the snapshot 14W30C. We're using some banners. Some little mud flaps. Look at that. Look how cool it looks. It's perfect. Perfect for a little food truck. Looks like a little um uh thing. A little thing right there. <laughs> we got a little serving area. We offer authentic Icelandic ice tacos. No one else does that but us. Because we're cool. Front piece, a little weird, but it works. Side. And let's take a look at the kitchen. We don't need no doors. And what, what? Check it out. Little hand towel. What? Awesome. Some cool bookshelves. Front piece. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go build it, shall we? Alrighty, guys. So, what you're going to need is right on the left hand side of the screen. It's a list of all the materials you will need and the amounts of said materials. But. First, we're going to start off with a block of coal for our wheels. Put it right there. This is going to be the front passenger side wheel. So, facing this way, it's going to be the right hand side of the vehicle. We're going to count one, two, three spaces away. And put, a, put a block right there on the fourth space. There's three in between. Now, we're going to count nine blocks that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put that down. You count three again, and there we go. Now we got our wheels in place. Now we're going to take smooth stone slabs, put these all the way down, connect everything up, like so. Freaking, freaking slabs. What are you doing? Stay where I'm putting you. There we go. Nope. There we go. Now we just got to fill this in. And boom. Now we're going to take some quartz blocks and we're just going to put them all along the edges. You don't have to worry about spaces for doors just yet. We'll put those in right here in a second. Now for doors, you're going to come over here to this side and you're going to count a block away from the door. Right there, leave one space. Put one on the other side, so there should be two spaces right here. Ah, sniffles. One at the back. Now you're going to take quartz stairs and put them upside down above each wheel. Like this. Same thing on this side. Now for the front, you're going to take off these two edges. Put them regular stairs. These two right here, upside down. Alright. So far, it should look just like this. And like this. And like that. Now, over here next to this wheel, you're going to take off four quartz blocks and replace those with stairs. Now, we're going to go and grab some red stained clay and some black stained clay. We're going to put some black stained clay right here around the door, like so, and then one in the middle to connect it so we have this door frame looking thing. Same thing on the other side. Now next to it, we're going to put down two red. Skip these four and put two more red right there. And then some black right here in the corner. So just like that. Now on the back side, we're going to put black right here on this edge. Two red, two red, and then one black in the middle. So we have stripes. Over here on this side, I'm going to put down a red block right here. Two red right there, then black next to those, and then two red columns right in the middle. Alright, now we're going to come to the front side and just going to put in some glass blocks for our window. So two next to the black stained clay, and then six right in the front. Alright, now we're going to grab some quartz stairs. I'm going to put these on top of all of our blocks all the way down 
like so. And we can connect these up like that. Now we're going to grab some oh, here we go, stone brick stairs and put them upside down underneath those. Just like that. Now we need to grab a quartz slab. We're going to fill in the top part like so all the way down. There we go. There we go. Except for two blocks in the front. We're just going to fill these in with quartz and then put six stairs right on top of those. Just like that. Now we're going to come over here to this side, right on the back side, one block away from the back. We want to replace that stair with a quartz block. Make that curve around. Skip two blocks to the right and replace the third one with a quartz block. Two more and replace that with a quartz block. And repeat the same thing on the other side. Right here, skip two there, skip two, and right there. Alrighty. Now we are going to start putting in the details. So let's grab an item frame and some glowstone and redstone blocks. We're going to put an item frame on all four tires. Two in the back for brake lights and two in the front for headlights. And put those in. We're going to use stone bricks for our little rim tire thingies. <laughs> there we go. And then redstone for our brake lights. Now you're going to put item frames on top of all of these quartz blocks along the top and put those or fill those with glowstone because sometimes, uh, I don't know, I've seen food trucks with lights up here. So we're going to do that because it looks cool. <laughs> now we're going to um, put in our our little roof thingy. Where's our, there we go, there's fence. Let's grab some of those. We're going to grab two carpet colors. I'm going to use white and red. And then we need white and red banners and a black one. Now the black ones we can do right now. We'll just put these right on the end, right behind the tires. So they'll look like mud flaps. Now we're gonna come over here. Oh, we need string, by the way. Let's grab some string. Okay, we're gonna come over here to this red column block. And we're gonna go down to the ground and count three blocks away to your right. So one, two, three, and then put down a fence right on that fourth block. So there's a space of three between the fence and the tire. We're gonna put column of four fence posts. Do the same thing on this side. So one, two, three, four. There we go. Now we're going to take some string. I'm going to put right here three next uh, right in front of that. Um, actually, oh shoot, I'm sorry. We need um, we need oak wood slabs. These go right here. So three top slabs right there and then connect these up do the same thing right there okay now for the string goes in the uh, in the middle okay just like that now we're going to put our carpet on just going to do some stripes right here there we go, and like that, and like that, and like that. Now for our banners, we're going to put down red ones right here, since this stripe is red, one right there, and a white one, red, white, red, white, we can fill this side in. Alright, there we go, now we can come down here and work on the kitchen. Let's go inside. First thing we want to do though is put down a quartz block right there. Some black stained clay and fill all that in. So we have a doorway to get into our kitchen. Now we're going to come in here. I'm going to grab some furnaces. Put down two like so. Grab some cauldrons. 
down to right next to those. We can fill those with water. And we can put down a lever right behind them. We're going to take some string, put uh, two on top of your furnaces. Put two stone blocks right up here. And then two anvils right under those. And we're going to take some chests. I'm going to put two down right there. And then just some wood slabs right there. And then we need uh, wood blocks right up there. We put a block right there, right there, and put a button right on front of that one. So it's kind of like a, uh, a drawer or something. Then we're going to take some bookshelves, put these all along here. Is there a block already there? Hello? No? Weird. <laughs> Still some glitches. There we go. Let's change the time real quick. Alright. Let's get back in there. Now we can put down a two slabs. And then a slab right there and a slab right there. It's kind of like some shelves. Then we can put down another chest right there. And we can put some little decorations in here. Let's grab some carpet and flower pot then a flower put carpet all along here come on there we go that right there and then a little orange tulip now we're gonna take our quartz slabs we're just gonna put these right up here all right and then you can add some more decorations if you feel like it put some signs up right here Right, and then for our hand towel, we're just gonna put a red banner or any color banner actually. We'll do white this time. Right there. And we're good for our kitchen. Let's come over here to the front. And we're just gonna put in a crafting table right there. Uh, two blocks of oak wood right there. And some stairs right here and right there. There we go. Now we're going to Fill this in, this quartz. I'm going to take a quartz slab and put three right there. And just for funsies, let's put some ladders right there. And then we need to put in our doors. So let's take some iron doors and some buttons. I'm going to put a button right there, right there. Iron door right there. And a button. Iron door right there. And a button. You can also replace these with oak wood. If you like, it just doesn't really match well with the colors we're going for, but it doesn't matter. Put some buttons right there. Okay, buddy, don't show up. <laughs> Let's grab another sign for some license plates. Put one right there. We're going to put in... Bitchin! Because we're cool. Alright, come over to this side. We're going to put us some signs right here. Um... Oh, nope, we gotta spell this right. Authentic Icelandic Ice Tacos. Home of the one and only ice cream soup. And cream has two E's because we're fancy. Yeah. Now we can fill these in with, uh, I don't know, different things. I don't have time to put stuff on it. Uh, for prices, Whatever you feel like, come over to the front. Put another picture, or sorry, a uh, sign right there for our license plate on that side. Let's grab a ladder and then some trap doors. Just gonna put a ladder right in the middle. Some trap doors on either side, and we're good. So we can come over here and just you know put some stuff in, make it look fancy. Let's grab some stone, clear. All of this out. Of course, you guys could do some of that. <laughs> I'm just gonna clear out enough space. There we go. Put down uh, two stairs right here. That. Do you want to 
carpet. Then we need some item frames for some uh, armrests. There we go. Ta-da! And then you fill in stone all along the bottom right there. Doesn't really matter. And then let's throw in some uh, some leaves to spruce up the place. There we go. There we go. Nice and fancy. Now for the top up here, you want to take off. Oh, not that. Those two slabs, like so. As you can tell, it's one block away from the edge, and then you skip one in the middle. Take some droppers, face them upwards, just like that, so it look kind of like air vents. And let's go into the kitchen once again, real quick. Ah, dang it! Ah. <laughs> don't need it. Let's take some uh, some item frames because I kind of forgot this part. Two right there. Put some food in there. Yeah, for some rabbit and cake. Yeah, rabbit and cake. We don't need anything else. And we can throw in a light somewhere if we uh, if we like. Let's do glowstone. There we go. I think we could even make that a. Uh, redstone lamp if we wanted to you could take that block off put that right there activate it and boom Ta -da! we're good that's it guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to uh, leave a like comment subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching